Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser with Litigation Support Bureau. Today I want to show you a tool called Tree Size Free. I actually use the professional version, which costs money, but I wanted to, for those of you that um, can't really buy software uh, at your firm, I wanted to show you this free um, version of their software because it's still pretty helpful. So this is the name of the software and the website. Um, but here's the software. <clears throat> so if you um, have a external hard drive or a thumb drive or you just want to do it on your uh, local C drive for some reason or um, even if you have um, a folder or a bunch of subfolders um, on your network server you can run this software against it to see what's taking up a lot of space so I'm just going to choose scan and then you can do it at a drive letter level or a specific directory. So I'm just going to choose my C drive. And you can see, depending on how much data you're running it against, it'll take you know, a little bit of time or not that much time to bring back this report. By default, it's sorted in descending order by file size. So you can see the largest, um, the folders with the largest amount of data in them. And then it also gives you the file counts and how many folders. So for instance, if I was to expand this Windows folder, you could see a, a breakdown of you know which Windows folders are taking up a lot of space and how many files they have in them. So if I expand the users folder, uh, you can see these are the profiles on the C drive, including mine. And if I expand mine, you can see that um, taking up the most space is my Dropbox folder because I love Dropbox. And then um, Google Drive is, you know, almost a gig and only has 96 files in it. Uh, you know, my downloads folder is not that much space, but there's 205 files in it. So you get the idea. You can also use uh, the date column to see, like, um, which files were accessed recently. Um, or changed recently. So <clears throat> it's really good for trying to figure out like how much stuff is uh, on an external drive or a hard drive in general. Okay, I want to show you two more things. One is um, they have an options uh, filter option that you can include and exclude certain file types or, or file paths or file names. If you um, want to exclude all, you know, PST files, for instance, because uh, you're trying to, you know, gauge it uh, without email being in the way, you can do that, and you can add multiple um, patterns. So that's pretty cool that you can um, include and exclude. And the other thing is that you can run a report. Um, the free version isn't as robust as the professional version that I use, but uh, at a bare minimum, when you run, when you go to file print report, it'll actually just show a report of whatever's visible on the screen when you do it. So it is cool if you got a thumb drive uh, on a case and the attorney like wants to know what's on it, just to give them an idea of what's um, how much stuff. They always want to know is it a lot or a little, you know. So um, and also if your hard drive is filling up and you can't figure out like why. Um, this will narrow it down for you. So that's today's tip. I hope you can put it to good use.